Carol is off. We begin with a troubling story. A 24-year-old Milwaukee woman has been arrested for drunk driving with four kids in the car. This is Keisha Spikes of Milwaukee. She blew a .26. That's more than three times the legal limit. Nick Montez reports. I'm Nick Montez. The Milwaukee County Sheriff's Department tells me that a woman's blood alcohol level was three times the legal limit when she was pulled over. This is Keisha Spikes. Deputies stopped her over here at Sherman and North just before midnight because she was driving a car with suspended plates. Deputies report she smelled like alcohol and had four children in the car with her. An eight-year-old, a six-year-old, a four-year-old, and a two-year-old. Spikes is a mother of two of the children, and the other two belong to another woman who was riding in the passenger seat. Now, this isn't the first time Spikes has been been in trouble in 2011. She pled guilty to child neglect and drug trafficking charges and court documents show a judge ordered her to stay sober. No alcohol, no drugs. Now Spike is expected to be charged with an OWI. Equally shocking, drunk driving with a kid in the car is a misdemeanor in Wisconsin. And that doesn't sit well with a lot of people. From some perspective, we're joined now by Jeff Wagner of News Radio 620 WTMJ. Jeff is also a former prosecutor. Okay, so you've got four young children in the car, just a misdemeanor. And three Why? times the legal limit. Why? Well, because it's disgraceful the way we treat drunk driving in this state. There's, we, we, when it comes to drunk driving, we are complete wimps in this state. You've got the Tavern League, which is against pretty much anything when it comes to trying to restrict drunk driving. You've got district attorneys who say it would be too busy. In New York, it is a felony. They call it Leandra's Law to be caught drunk driving with a child under 16. In Wisconsin, it's a misdemeanor, but it just became a misdemeanor. We are the only state in the country where first offense drunk driving is a general rule is not a crime. It's a traffic ticket. The only state in the country. You know, Spikes is also being held for violating terms of her probation for a prior case of child neglect and drug trafficking as well. So what is she potentially going to face as a result of now what's happened last night? Oh, okay, well, the, the drunk driving, six months. And, and, and look, let, let's... Max. Max, and, and let's be realistic about this. The chances of her getting six months are probably slim to none, and slim is on a bus out of town. Now, you've also got potentially, I mean, some of the probation problems and that, but as for the drunk driving, th this is nothing. Chances are it's going to be probation, don't do it again, and we're going to suspend your license. But we all know how well that works with people. So we report on these stories all the time, Jeff. I and mean, we've heard horror stories of people dying in these situations, you know, when someone's drunk behind the wheel. What is it going to take to move the state forward to enforce tougher laws? You, you know, Courtney, I... I think I've got a decent pulse of where the public is in this issue, and they're so far ahead of, of where the, the legislators are. The, the public just has no stomach for this. That's just the truth. But, you know, Jim Ott, one of our former colleagues, has been very aggressive with this. Ott isn't even introducing a bill to try to make first offense drunk driving a misdemeanor because he doesn't have the votes. He, he doesn't have the votes. They're trying to get something passed that say if you get caught .15, then it would be a misdemeanor. And they're not sure that that's going to pass because the Tavern League is opposing that because most people who get caught for point, uh, drunk driving are above 0.15. It's just so frustrating. And, uh, again, politicians pose for holy pictures, but nothing happens. Yeah, this woman, 0.26. Thank goodness there wasn't a crash where somebody, especially the kids, would have been killed or injured. You know, one of the interesting things, too, is drunk driving. 75% of the people that nailed for drunk driving are men. Except this uh, kids in the car, it's about 50-50. 52% hmm, men, 48% women with kids in the car. It's fascinating and Shocking. sad. Yeah, all yeah. that. Jeff Wagner, News Radio 620, WTMJ. Thanks a lot, as usual, for Always coming in to share your insight. Always a pleasure. Well, two boys injured in a fire.